Hi, I'm Michael Chung. I'm a year seven at East Modern Primary School and I'm a Dr. Yunus Young Ambassador. So I'm here to give you a tutorial on RunLink and compared to Arduino. So RunLink uses about one page to teach someone how to use it and Arduino uses around 20 pages to do the same thing. And Arduino's ID uses, is on the laptop while RunLink ID is used on the web which means it's real time and live so your friend so if you write something send it your friend can also get it and edit it at the same time so we all, so we have a battery here connected with a cable to give power to the board the board gives power to the wi-fi chip and the buzzer here and as well as a yellow led so, if we move on to the web page, scroll down, you see ports. Port C0 has the yellow LED on it, so we type yellow LED in name, and C6 has buzzer, so we type buzzer in the name. Now we can test if it works by clicking the on off button. So, if you look at the yellow LED, I click on, it turns on off turns off then if i click the on off for the buzzer you see on and off so now we can start programming go to the html add a heading whatever name you want so i'm gonna do micro control page And then we have a subtitle for yellow LED. So we know the group of buttons is for the yellow LED. Then we add button on click. Then we have to turn on for our first button and we turn on the yellow LED. Label it as on, so we know that's the on button, and then do slash. Now what we can do is we just copy this and paste it, and then change all the turn ons to turn off. Then we can add two breaks, so the buzzer and yellow LED are spread out. Now we add a buzzer, subtitle, and go here, copy the yellow LED code, and paste. Then what we do is we go to the yellow LED and change it to buzzer. Now this should be the code. What we can do now is send, it should say editor file saved and uh, index file saved then we copy the board ip paste it in a new tab you have michael's control page yellow led if i click on for the yellow led you'll see yellow led turns on and if i click off it turns off now same thing if we click the buzzer and off so with RunLink, you can program anything you want, and it's customizable, unlike Google Home, which means you can connect it to anything you want, you can add more buzzers, you can connect it to your phone to control the tilt. So if you connect to the accelerometer in your phone, tilt forward, you can get this robot car here to move forward, and if you tilt backwards, the robot car goes backwards, same with left and right. Thank you.